Game Ranks presents 10 facts about Grand Theft Auto 5 that you probably didn't know. We scoured the internet and found a bunch of little trivia tidbits about Grand Theft Auto for you guys, so let's get started with number 10. The first actress that played Aunt Vivian from one of my favorite shows, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, Missy. Wow. Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise. Franklin's housemate. Was actually the voice of Aunt Denise in Grand Theft Auto V. She's definitely showing some range here because she plays a completely different character. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Number 9. Michael DeSantis' son Jimmy was voiced by Danny Tamborelli. For those of you who don't remember that name, he played Little Pete on The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Yeah, that's a throwback for you old Nickelodeon fans. His annoying voice was also heard on All That. Remember that show? Number 8. Sandy Shores, that shithole desert town that Trevor lives in in Grand Theft Auto V, is actually based on Bombay Beach. Bombay Beach is a Southern California town that was a failed attempt at like a desert oasis. It was located on the east shore of the Salton Sea and like many communities along that shore, it had to contend with fluctuating water levels. It was actually the lowest community in the United States, located 223 feet below sea level. The town ended up being a complete failure and by 2010 there was only about 200 people living there, probably because of the fact that it was constantly flooded. While Bombay Beach influenced Sandy Shores, it definitely seems like the downfall of Sandy Shores was just methamphetamines. You're goddamn right. Number 7. The famous Grand Theft Auto V bikini model girl. Everybody knows her, everybody talks about her, and everybody's fought over her, whether she's Kate Upton or Lindsay Lohan. The real girl who inspired GTA V's bikini girl model was actually Shelby Willander. She was hired by Rockstar, and she's the official likeness of that character design. It's not Kate Upton, and it's definitely not Lindsay Lohan, despite what her lawyers are saying. Number 6. Rockstar actually had the idea to include several playable characters in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but the feature was omitted due to the fact that technical limitations at the time were really strict. With some more impressive specs and some technical wizardry, Rockstar was able to create this magic in Grand Theft Auto V and make it look easy, even though it probably wasn't. Number 5. Famitsu, one of the most respected gaming magazines in Japan, has only given perfect scores to two Western games, Skyrim, if you guys remember us mentioning that in our Skyrim fact video, and Grand Theft Auto V. No other Western game has scored a perfect score from them, so I guess Grand Theft Auto V is even more special now. Number 4. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto V, the ballers wear purple and the Grove Street gang wears green. This is actually because of the colors of a famous rivalry between Edinburgh-based football clubs, Heart of Mythlothian with the purple and maroon colors, and Hibernian with the green colors. These guys are also known as the Hearts and Hibs, but I really don't know what I'm talking about because I'm an American and I don't know anything about European football. But what I do know is that Rockstar Games was founded by the Hauser Brothers, two Englishmen. So that totally explains this choice of colors and gang rivalry. Number three. Rapper Young Melee, who plays CJ in San Andreas, and Sean Fontaine, who plays Franklin in Grand Theft Auto V, are actually cousins in real life. It's like one big happy Grand Theft Auto family. Number two. Speaking of voice actors, Rockstar Games actually apparently hired real gangsters for Grand Theft Auto V voices. Rockstar apparently recruited a person to go out and find the criminals, including members from an El Salvadorian gang. Apparently these guys came in and actually added authenticity to their voice acting, looking at the script and sometimes saying, we wouldn't say that. So the gangs in Grand Theft Auto V might be a little more authentic than you thought. Number 1. Now, I saved the craziest fact for last, and it might not be true, but if it is, it's absolutely insane. Sean Fontano, the actor that plays Franklin, used to go by the rapper named Solo. Now, out there, there is actual footage of Sean Fontano describing a feud between him and Ice Cube. He describes the street fight and also goes into detail about punching Ice Cube and taking his chain. Ah, uh, <laughs> what? Nobody beats up Ice Cube, but apparently Franklin can. That's all if this is actually true. Maybe he's talking out of his ass. But if Solo slash Sean Fontano is actually a man of his word, this could be a pretty cool little fact. And hold up a sec, we got a bonus fact for you guys. Grand Theft Auto V is the most expensive video game of all time. <laughs> According to Rockstar, it cost $270 million to produce this game. That's bigger than a lot of movies. Just for comparison's sakes, the most expensive movie ever made was Pirates of the Caribbean World's End, which was fucking awful, but it cost $300 million, compared to Grand Theft Auto V's $270 million. That's insane, and that's where we're gonna end this video. So guys, if you had a good time or you learned anything about Grand Theft Auto, maybe give us a like because it really helps us out. And of course in the comments, definitely let us know any Grand Theft Auto tidbits that you know about that maybe we didn't include. But as always, subscribing is the best thing you can do if you're new because we do videos like this and giveaways all the time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.